We're just getting some of the latest lines out of Venezuela. Nicolas Maduro has taken uh, what I assume will be a second six-year term in an election that has been widely criticised, uh, including criticisms such as he's making a joke out of democracy. The United States and Chile, amongst other parties, have come out uh, in denial, essentially, of this. We are expecting fresh sanctions to be considered on uh, Venezuela as well. Let's get the very latest from Caracas. Uh, Bloomberg Venezuela Bureau Chief Patricia Laya is there for us. And Patricia, just give us an idea of what the latest that we know. You know, we spoke earlier about the sense of what kind of election this has played out as. Yeah, so just a, just a minute ago, we found out that President Nicolás Maduro was re-elected for another six-year term with 68% of the vote. Uh, the most interesting part here, though, is that he had a participation rate, but it's why had a participation rate of, uh, of, uh, of 48% that makes it the lowest since 1998 when uh, Hugo Chávez was elected president. Um, as uh, we've reported all day today, when we were outside walking, reporting from voting centers, they were practically empty. So this was completely unsurprising. Uh, people would just walk in and go, come straight out because there was no line whatsoever. And the government spent most of the afternoon encouraging voters uh, to come out and vote. Patricia, what happens next? And does this government face sanctions from the global community or at least selective members of that? Yeah, so we'll see, but it is very highly expected that tomorrow or sometime this week we'll be uh, hearing or some actions from the part of, of the U.S. State Department uh, on more sanctions. It's expected that oil sanctions will come next, right? Um, uh, we'll have to see. How bad, well, I shouldn't really be uh, pejorative there, but uh, how have things evolved in Venezuela over the last few years? Venezuela's economy is, by uh, most measures, in, in shambles. Uh, inflation is set to hit uh, 13 thousand percent this year uh, all the public services are collapsed the running water has become a luxury there's power outages for hours um, public transportation is also uh, collapsed there's no spare parts um, so you know Ven Venezuelans fight a daily plight to do almost everything to find food to be able to afford food once you find it so uh, in the past five years uh, Venez Venezuelans life has quality of life has really really declined